Plastic is everywhere in our lives. Just look around you. There could be a Starbucks cup, a plastic bag, your water bottle, etc. These items could last for up to centuries on our Earth, meaning that our great, 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 great grandchildren may still see the plastic cup that we are using just now. We know that plastics are bad for our environment. They stay in the environment, release toxic chemicals, and cause injuries of animals. That's why alternative materials have emerged, often called broadly as bioplastics. They claim themselves as eco-friendly, as they can degrade from the persistent plastics into harmless products like carbon dioxide and water. When they are exposed to various environmental factors like UV and biological factors, well, it sounds like the plastic issue bothering us for decades has simply disappeared, and we can just feel free to enjoy the new plastics. But I have a question when I look at these bioplastics. They all look so rigid and do not seem to degrade at all, even when I keep reusing them under harsh conditions. Then how are they supposed to suddenly start to degrade and get vanished right after disposal? My research studies how degradable the bioplastics actually are when they are misdisposed in the natural environment. Bioplastics are designed to fully degrade under specific conditions in about six months. For example, under an industrial composting facility with a high temperature of up to 80 degrees, which is basically unrealistic in natural settings. So what actually happens in the natural environment? In my study, bioplastics stayed generally intact after six months in the sea. With the unstable and lower environmental stress, they degraded much slower than what they claimed in the advertisement. So is it still an efficient solution to the plastic waste problem? It is in doubt. And what's worse is that when we compare them to conventional plastics, bioplastics degrade at a faster rate. However, they do not fully degrade in time, but instead they produce smaller fragments, which we call micro or nanoplastics, which may transfer and bioaccumulate through the food chain, eventually up to us, human. For now, we are eating microplastics with the weight equivalent to a credit card every week, and we can expect more if we continue to consume more plastics as if there's no consequence. So next time when you feel good to grab an eco-friendly plastic bag, think about today's presentation and make a smart choice to cut plastic consumption at source for the sake of both the environment and for your own health.